And here we go for the start of the uh, sixth Bro Drill Cup. First match is going to be none other than Mochizuki versus Keita, both nationals from Japan. One is a Master Kimberly, while the other is a three star diamond uh, jury player. So let's see how this pans out. Mochizuki already having a pretty hard time in the corner. Trow Ooh. Evaded that entire attempt from Ooh, Keita, but Keita just going right through that overdrive immediately putting Mochizuki into a stun state and managed to get the first round extremely convincingly very nicely done Namaskesan, arigatouzaimashita and here we go on with the second round and Mochizuki unfortunately a little bit staggered by the very quick pressure that Keita is trying to instigate right now as you can see Keita has a hell of a lot of uh, LPs Oh, wow, unfortunately for Mochizuki, tried to get out of the corner using the DP of Jewelry, but unfortunately it landed on the bomb of ah, Keita. Very nice overdrive right there for Mochizuki. He needs to make it. Yeah, counts directly into the level 3 super. Kaboom! Kimochi yo katta daro. Here we go. Boom! Smell my feet. And a lot of damage right there. Ooh, Mochizuki tried to go for the grab, but Keita just... Ooh, not afraid. Well, uh, not afraid to just jump out of the corner, but unfortunately got caught. And second round goes to Mochizuki. Let's see if he can make it. A quick teleportation right there from Keita gets the knockdown. Baits the uh, parry attempt right there from Mochizuki. Uh, Keita letting Mochizuki get out of the corner. Fortunately for him, he gets a perfect parry. JD, I've sent you a friend request. Please accept it. After that, I'll send you an invitation. Thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, terrible on the side, yeah. Uh, JD, 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 you don't know what JD, you don't know what I'm saying. Ah, it's still on the side. Terubana san ga, it's still on the side. Terubana san no shiai ga, hai shin sale run de, so no mama taiki on the side. Mada desu yo, Terubana san taiki on the side. その、トーナメントの方に全てのえっと、あれですね、オンラインは掲載してるんで、で、今テルバナさんの試合が配信になるんで、そのままちょっと待機お願いします。First match goes to Keita takes the first uh, match pretty convincingly. Let's see if はい、お願いします。so let's see if uh, Mochizuki-san can actually manage to bring it back. Quick drive rush right there from Keita. Tried to go for the overhead and Mochizuki once again getting out of pressure using the X... Um, the... Uh, oh, X DP right there. And again Keita, man, in the corner fights his... Tries to fight his way out of it, but very, very hardly can. Again with the DP, unfortunately lands in the... Ah, uh, and the bomb once again. This is the first time. This isn't the first time that Keita actually manages to, uh, to, uh, well, force Mochizuki in this particular setup. That being said, the tables, how the turns have tabled right now. As you can see, Mochizuki is the one bringing the pressure. And oh, Keita popping the level one right there and should be able to get the kill. Very nicely done. Keita saving it by the skin of their teeth. But very nice awareness of uh, Keita not to let himself get bullied, even though he was in exhausted state, burned out state. Again, with the, with the, how do you call it, the debate of the parry right there from Keita, probably hoping for a take attempt from, uh, from, um, from Mochizuki. They don't act, no, it's not really a mine. It's a, well, it's a timed mine. It's not something that you step on and then it, it, it explodes. It's, uh, she sends the bomb on the, on the, um, on the floor and then it's time it's just time basically so yeah it's a, it's a timed mine it's not a proximity mine if you if you play goldeneye <laughs> if you play goldeneye you know exactly what i'm talking about <laughs> anyways here we go with keta taking the second match as well let's see if he's capable and let's see if mochizuki can somehow bring it back we shall see again with the jump in no entire from Mochizuki. Mochizuki using the dive to try to get out of harm's way. And Keita using and abusing the drive rush. But is capable of blocking that overhead right there that Mochizuki was bringing to the table. Mochizuki just casually, <laughs> casually just, yeah. Oh no, try to go to with uh, the uh, drive. Um, with the, how do you call it? The, 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 I, forgot the, I forgot the name. The DI, drive impact. There you go. Here we go with the trade. Fortunately for Mochizuki, was able to. Oh no! And this should be. So oh, not death. And yeah, this is going to be death. Nice confirm from the ascending K right there. 
the 5k from Keita into the drive rush into death. Uh, again with the drive rushes, man. Keita really, really fond of it. Uh, for now, Mochizuki has a little bit of problems finding their footing. Already in the corner, yet again gets opened up with the drive rush into the 2MK. Here we go, the grab. No entire. Mochizuki has one more chance. Here we go with the overdrive. Goes for the full combo. Keeps his level 3. Ooh, that was a whiffed parry there. Yeah, Keita trying to fish for something. Ochizuki uh, has a lot. No, that was a bad DP. And oh, okay. Keita with the uncharacteristic uh, drop of the combo right there. Uh, enable Keita to actually live. Uh, en enable uh, Mochizuki to live to fight another day. Very nice bar right there. Um, Mochizuki tried to go for the grab, but was teched. Okay, it's still okay. He had no, not like this. Mochizuki with the correct read, but so Gallagher from Guam, who's actually a Filipino, uh, might be a Filipino. Didn't put his, uh, I think he's a Filipino. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here. We go. Okay, we got the correct bad, the correct flag now. Okay, so Gallagher, who currently lives in Guam and who is a Filipino against none other than Zve, who lives in Brunei and who is Bruneian as well. So Luke versus Ken, both are master players. Let's see how this spins out. Gallagher with the perfect parry and the pun. Wow! And wake up perfect parry from Zve, who said, okay, what you can do, I can do a hell of a lot better. Let me do it. Yeah, this time around, Zvei not falling for the perfect parry. Wow, very nice reaction debut right there. And that cheeky backdash of Gallagher. Who was, unfortunately, right at that specific timing, uh, completely uh, exhausted. How do you say it? He was in burnout. But fortunately for him, he was able to uh, seal the deal and get the kill. So let's see how this spins out. Wow, nice take attempt right there from Zvei. Gallagher content to just... Yeah. To just slow down the pace, not take it too aggressively. So they definitely look at trying to do the same as well. Let's see how this spins out. Here we go with the jump in this time around. Zvei not ready for the entire. And again, yeah, combo into the corner. Straight into level three. Here we go. Here we go down to Memphis. <laughs> to Memphis. <laughs> Good stuff from Gallagher. He's got the life lead. He's going to, yeah. Puts Zvei into the... Ooh, no! That was a bad confirm, my boy. Let's see how this spins out. Gallagher with the kill combo. And if it's not the case, he still has... Yeah. Oh, no! But it's still okay. He had the advantage. Uh, he Gallagher able to take it out with the chip damage. Very nicely done. I suspect it's the chip damage, that is. Not quite sure. Pretty sure he was though. But anyways, on to the second match. Let's see if Zvei can bring some sort of adjustment to the table in order to weather that storm that is Gallagher, man. Gallagher with the attempt to uh, yeah jump on Zvei, but Zvei very on point when it comes to entire. Wow! And the confirm of the second hit of the eggs fireball straight into the uh, the drive rush for a pretty slick punish. Something that um, Angry Bird has a tendency. Angry Bird and uh, Big Bird, yeah, M Angry Bird is uh, very acquainted with. We have seen him doing this a lot in tournament. And Zvi with the reaction level one right there for the kill. Very nicely done. <clears throat> Let's go, Gallagher. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, and that reaction perfect fairy of Gallagher on the Dragon Lash. Very nicely done. Gallagher with the cor corner positioning looking pretty good. Oh, gets the whiff punishes. Prevents the vape from even getting out of there. And here goes the freaking bait on the tech attempt straight into death. Gallagher looking pretty nice. Immediately takes the second round of this uh, of this encounter right there. Let's see if uh, they can manage to seal the deal. He definitely needs this uh, specific uh, this specific point if he wants to uh, stay in the winner's bracket. Well, he still has one more chance even if he loses this one, but it would definitely be better for the morale if he manages to. Wow! Straight into the drive impact. You did not see it. Ooh, full combo into the level 2, I believe. Kaboom! 
Not enough to kill though, but a lot of damage right here. Okay, Zve is one hit away from taking this this match. Ah, here we go with the XDP. That being said, oh, Zve had zero. He didn't have any uh, resources left to endure this hit. Anyways, oh no, and the shimmy. You wait to see it. One more hit is all that is needed. Oh no, and end up with punish. Is that gonna be enough? No. Oh no, here we go with the grab. Not enough to kill. Okay. No! Too late on the DP, and unfortunately for Zay, Galadr ends up taking the second match. That was so unfortunate. So unfortunate, but it is what it is. Good stuff from Galadr, though, to keep his head on his shoulders. Uh, very nicely done. Okay, and here we go with the overhead. Unfortunately, was a little bit too late on the confirm. Couldn't quite get the punish. Well, the follow-up combo. Oh, no, and they man, too late on the DP right there. Okay, uses the X of Smaki Senpuki to get out of the corner. And here you go again with the bait on the Dragon Lash and the punish. Accordingly, Galader on set point. Is he going to be able to seal the deal or is... Wow! <laughs> they, man, with the perfect parry, gets a corner carry combo, gets hit on wake up by the XDP of Galader, though. And here we go with the punish, with the, the, the drive rush uh, confirm. Very nice entire though from Zve. Oh no! And Galader, man, he's been so on. Oh, the big dragon last, bro. Oh, and here we go with the bait. This should be a dizzy combo. Okay. Oh, and he went for the reset. Is that going to be enough? It should be enough. Doesn't even need the, uh, the super bar in order to seal Lydia. Good stuff from Zve. Finally waking up. Zvey needs just absolutely needs this round if he wants to stay in the winner's bracket. Let's see if he can manage to do so. Oh, the punish on the Dragon Rush. Wow, that was a cheeky Dragon Rush, by the way. Ooh, couldn't quite seal the deal there. Yeah, no DP from that uh, specific range. There we go, the perfect parry. Ooh, perfect parry. Ooh. And back to neutral. Both opponents does, do not want to jump on each other. Uh, here we go, the perfect parry. Uh, Zvei doing good. Good job! Oh, and the read on the fireball. Zvei uh, keeps his level 3. Zvei is one hit away from death. If Galder can confirm into the level 3. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh! Oh, and the confirm. No, and he drops it. Oh, no, you don't want to drop it here. Oh, and again with the 2 MK belt, but not enough to kill him again. Again, Zvei getting baited by this. Exactly what they're supposed to do, how they're supposed to do, and everything. But for some reason, sorry, for some reason, uh, like my Street Fighter Six tournament always has like uh, pro issues with uh, players not knowing how to. I like uh, first to three for all matches tournaments. Yeah, first to three is is really cool. I like it. It's sometimes slightly different, but I like your format. But okay, okay. Well, I'm I'm. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, guys. But it's usually they come in, yeah, through Discord. The format, yeah, I prefer first to three as well. But I was more uh, referring to like uh, communication-wise with the with the with the players. What exactly do they? What type of like directives they give to the player for, for example, joining the custom room? But apparently, like from apparently from what Zvei, Zvei uh, was saying is that they force they don't force, but they have the players join the Discord, and then from there they get directives. Which I think might be a good idea. Which I like the tunnel communication better because it's less... Yeah, me too. Me too, I like it better, but it's... When players do not respond on tunnel, it's extremely hard to catch them. <laughs> to catch them and have them respond. I Usually I have to see if they have a, a, uh, um, a Twitter. And from Twitter I need to either send them a DM, which is... Uh, it, it depends on, on the person, but usually most of the people, person's DMs are closed, so I cannot contact them. And if not, I have to send like a public message, and it's kind of a hassle to do this. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm starting to wonder whether or not, but I don't want to force people to join. As a TO, I'd say it's very tough communication where you can... Yeah, I know that, I, I, I totally understand that, but the thing that's kind of annoying me, not annoying, but that I don't want to force upon the players is to force them to join my Discord just so we just so we, we can have a tournament together, you see? Because, uh, yeah. 
It's very hard because most of us don't really use Talonar. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's what I, I figured. And yeah, that's kind of uh, too bad, too unfortunate because yeah, I sometimes I really need to contact like the players like because they're not responding and it's their turn to play on stream and whatnot. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to force you guys. Like it's yeah. Uh, I do have like a ready to use Discord, but I don't want it to be like. I I could, but it it, it would be really really annoying. But after two three Tonmel tourneys, I actually got used to it. It's like learning. Yeah, Star GG. Yeah, I can understand. I don't know. Well, I think about it, but it would be kind of really un not dumb, but annoying. Nah, not annoying, but unfortunate to force people to join like my server just to have them. Just to have like a smooth uh, tournament, you know. Yeah. But uh, I'll think about it. For now, it seems okay. I think that the more tournament I'll be doing, and the more uh, return returnees, like the more uh, returning participants I'll have, and from there maybe it wouldn't it won't be really necessary to uh, like have everybody join the Discord to communicate. But at first, I, I think I'm just gonna take I'm gonna bite the bullet and just. And just suffer when it comes to communicating with the with the participants. Anyways, that being said, uh, I've been blabbering for like the past freaking two matches, and Nikolajir has been running a milk train, a, a milk train, <laughs> has been running a um, a racket, a, a uh, how do you call it, a truck through uh, through Kizaru. As you can see, he's already leading two matches to zero. This matchup, which is not considered in favor of Manon by any means, by the way. I have no idea what a milk train is. <laughs> I don't... A wreck train? What the hell do I want to say? There's a something train. There's an, exp an expression in English. It's something, some, something... Somebody is running a something train on somebody else. And I forgot what the expression was. And for some reason, the first word that came into my mind was a milk train. I have no idea why. <laughs> Anyways, here you go with Nikoji and the reaction jump right there not to get command grab. Gets the level 4 grab! It's just a, okay, just a train. That's good. That's good to know. That doesn't mean something competitive. Running a train on someone? Okay, okay, well. Okay, well, he was just running a train on someone then. That's perfect. It's it, It'll do, it'll do. And as you can see, Nikoji yeah, took it a clean 3 to nail. Galader versus Nikozido. Unfortunately, we just saw Nikozido, but uh, Gigi Alader, I think. Ah, okay, <laughs> Alader. Okay, Gigi Alader. I like calling him Galader. <laughs> I'm I'm so used to calling him Galader that I want to continue calling him Galader. But you know what? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm gonna play. I, I'll call him Alader, no problem. So Alader versus uh, Nikozido. So unfortunately, we just saw the match of uh, Nikozido, but. Uh, being that the um, second semifinals uh, match unfortunately wasn't quite decided since one of the opponent wasn't yet decided, uh, we decided to save some time because we already lost a lot of time today. <laughs> Gallader seems cooler. It does, right? Gallader. I don't know. It has a, it's, it has a, a pretty nice sound to it. I feel. So I'm gonna call him Gallader. I don't care. <laughs> so Gallader right now getting. Uh, Getting a, a train ran right across him, right right on top of him right now. <laughs> I'm sure he lost the first round, but it's okay. Oh, that was definitely a misinput from Gallagher. Unfortunately, just drive rush directly into DDP right in front of Nikolji, who took this opportunity to punish him. That being said, Gallagher right now with the corner care combo. Couldn't quite get an Okizem in that particular si uh, situation. Here we go with the sweep from Nikolji, but that confirmed into the drive rush from Gallagher. Should be able to get... Okay, didn't want to use a level 3 though. Nikoju, this is... This is probably the third perfect parry he had. Oh lord, here we go to jump in. Not enough to kill. Nikoju definitely baiting, trying to bait that level 3. Gets that command grab. Level 5 by the way, the command grab. This is very, very good for Nikoju. Well, he already won, so that's fine. Okay, first match goes to Nikoju. What is Gallagher going to do? We shall see. And on to the second match. Here we go, the Send Blast again with that perfect parry from Nikol Zero. He's been on point with this one, man. This is the fourth or fifth one he's been doing in a row. This is pretty crazy. Oh, that was punished though. And Nikol Zero already level three with the command grab. Definitely looking pretty good now. 
that immaculate spacing, but Yaladr with the drive rush into the grab definitely had something going on. Got hit by the overhead and retaliates with the 6H. Unfortunately for him, mistimes his DP and gets cool man. Grab right into the corner. Trade in favor of Nikolaju. Manages to take this first round of the second match. Let's see if he can continue in this. Oh, Lord. Here we go with the sweep. And the take pressure from Nikozita. Harassing Gallagher in the corner. No, here we go the drive impact. Perfect, perfectly spaced by Nikozita. Gets the wall splat and Gallagher waking up with the DP. Tries to grow for the grab. A little bit too far for that with punish though. Very nice sweep. Goes for an empty grab, but very nicely uh, ticked. Losers, they see. Well, then then how's it going this year? Eto Mochizuki san, dozo, how's it going this here we go with the tick pressure. Very nicely ticked by Nikozito again with the grab. Gallagher, man. Definitely worked for this grab, man. He's been trying to grab Nikozito so many times already. Woo! Nice. Oh, Lord. Almost got the bait on the tick. And Nikozito with the tick command grab. Here we go with the corner pressure. And the confirm. And Nikozito taking the second match. Very, very, very convincingly. And not going to lie. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're good. And here we go with the... Oh, Lord. The whip punish from Gallagher. Trying to get that grab, but again, tagged by Nikozito. Back to the neutral. Nikozito getting, gaining some grab right now. Gets the level 2 command grab. Ah, oh, the perfect... Oh, Lord! And here we go with the DP punish, unfortunately for him. He is currently in... Yeah. Oh, Lord! In the level 1! Eat that! Stop harassing me! Oh, Lord! The entire pro Nicholas just straight into the drive. Impact for the kill. Here we go, set point for Nicholas. You know, is he gonna be able to seal the deal or is... Uh, Gallagher gonna make a comeback. We shall see. Big drive impact right there for Nikozito, who gains access to level 4. But Gallagher with the 2MK straight into the drive rush. Gets the corner. The side switch into a corner carry combo. Big grab. Oh, here we go. The checks of Nikozito with the entire on the neutral drum. Ah, tried to get a bait on the DP. Manages to get level 5, and here we go, one more hit. Oh, perfect parry from Gallagher. He's gonna do level 3. Oh, straight into the level 2. Not enough to kill, is it? Oh, it should. Come on. No, not enough. No, you had to see in the grab for the kill. Gallagher's staying alive, man. Damn. That was pretty sick. Not going to lie. Let me check the loser's record real quick. Hopefully, everybody started there. Oh. Okay, we're good. They started their matches. This is perfect. And here we go. The corner carry combo. Nicholas, you just casually jumping out of the corner. Not giving an F. Ah, perfect parry yet again. Boom, boom. Nope. And here we go. The drive rush. It's straight into the level three. And this should spell death for our... For Gallagher. It's still fine. Gal uh, Scalder still has the loser's bracket to try to make his comeback. It is not... Damn, Tervana-san just... Just, like... Just uh, manifested, manifested in the air. Like, he literally, like, teleported. <laughs> I didn't even see him enter the room. But that being said, here we go with Tervana rocking a modern... Uh, what's her name? Marisa. Which is, um... Well, it's understandable. I'm not going to lie. Uh... I do not know in which direction this matchup goes, to be honest. I would tend to say it's probably in favor of Feed the Head, but then again, um, in favor of JP, I was going to say. Uh, but then again, JP just needs to get open. Well, any character needs to be open just once against Marisa, and it's pretty much game over. Here we go with the slap. Get out of here. Get out of my face. And everyone are looking pretty good right now. Ooh, gets the bait. Oh, got the bait on the Amnesia, but yeah, I could. Oh, no, too far to get the command grab. Speaking of command grab, <laughs> Caravana on point with not getting hit by the command grab of uh, Feed the Hit. Let's see how this spins out. 
And on to the next battle. There we go, the, the Graves. Uh, big drive rush right there from Teruvana. Gets a full combo. Gets the juggle. Gets the corner. Get pressure. Wanted to get the punish on the Amnesia, but still. Oh! Oh, the punish! That big punish on Amnesia. Oh, the second punish! Straight into the level three, man! What a finish! What a finish, man! What a call out from Teruvana! I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty violent to see. Good stuff from Teruvana gets the first match. Let's see if the head can bring it back. We shall see. That's definitely not one sided. It's perfectly fine. Let's give a little bit of faith to. Okay, here we go. And here we go, the driver rush right into a corner carry combo. Here we go with the grab. Into the Sphinx. How do you call this again? Uh, the Apex? Not the Apex. Or the thing. I need to check uh, Marisa's move list real quick. Completely forgot. Marisa. Street Fighter 6. Move list. I completely forgot. Okay, so it's the uh, the phalanx, yeah, the phalanx. Okay, phalanx, quadriga, scutum, gladius. Okay, gladius. I need to remember gladius and right, phalanx, basically. All good. Okay, got it. Okay, on to the battle. Big phalanx right there. Gets the anti-air, man. Teruvana definitely on point when it comes to anti-air right there. Oh no, wave punish right there. Woo! After the head not on point with the uh, the whiff punishes, gets grabbed yet again. Big phalanx right there was not with punish. Woo! The raise from feed the head, not getting command grab this time. Oh lord! Woo! A little bit too early on this, and straight into the level one for the kill. Feed the head not out of this yet by a long shot. And on with the drive rush. I joined your Discord for future events, thanks for it. No problem, JD. We live, we learn, no worries. You'll know for next time, it's perfect. And here we go with uh, the jump in, woo! And Dil, oh, Tiruvana with the command grab again to punish, man. Oh, bad time for feed the head. In the corner with Marisa, it's never a fun time. Straight into the freaking command grab yet again you never like it when marisa asks you where you're going and straight into the level three is that gonna kill nah i don't believe it nah of course not now you know history and here we go with the corner pressure this is looking pretty bad for beat the head straight into the di into the command grab for the kill teruvana looking pretty swole man holy freaking lord very nicely done. Let me carry you to safety, my lord. <laughs> okay, what is Feed the Head going to do? Oh, character change? Is that a character change? Let me see. This is looking pretty interesting. Feed the Head apparently has been working on another character as well. So let's see if uh, he has something in reserve. I do believe it is the case. So what is... Ah, uh, let me spectate, by the way. So what are we looking? Oh, jury! Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're doing. Okay, so be the head working on jury. Let's see if it is going to work in his favor or not. We shall see. Good lord! Ah, let me open this and combatants. Jury, jury, jury. And on to the next the battle. Big feelings right there. Ah, uh, but he did already almost in the corner, I think. Okay, here we go. There we go, the Gladius. Ah, Wisp Fuhajin right there went right underneath the failing the the failings. Unfortunately, four feet the head. Let's see how this spins out. Yeah, Feed the Head really taking his time, does not want to overcommit. Drive rushing straight into a uh, Phalanx, unfortunately for him. And here we go with the grab. Oh, Lord, that was cheeky. Big tech bait right there from Feed the Head. Finally manages to take a round. 
Let's see if he can manage to take the full, uh, the full magic summer on big. <laughs> Big egg DP right there from Ophi dead with the reaction DP. Again with the DP, man. Not afraid, bro. Not afraid. Oh, there we go. The 2H. Yes, the 2H uh, HP. Ooh, ah, I look at firms from Pedavada straight into level 3. Look at your life. Where is your life bar going? <laughs> Good to know. Now you know he's study indeed. Oh, the reverse, the eye from feed the head. He was ready. Do not drive rush. No, no. Oh, ooh, almost got the big. Oh, level three. No, and the drop from feed the head. Had several instances right here where he could have killed. Unfortunately, this is really unfortunate for him. I hope it doesn't uh, come back to bite him in the butt. Big XDP. Ooh, from feed the head. Oh no, and the, ooh, Lord, you were fortunate in your misfortune. Years to find. <laughs> Everybody loves Happy Chaos's uh, Happy Chaos's theme, don't you? Oh, again, here we go with the ooh, Lord, the conversion station. But feed the head, blowing everything just to place that level three. Is this going to be worth it? We shall see. <laughs> Ah, uh, try to go for a grab. Ah, uh, Marissa only needs one hit. One hit and your bar is going to melt. Like Hershey bar in the sun. Big anti right there. From Feed the Head. Oh, and finally Feed the Head. Putting one on the board. Perfect. Still needs two more in a row in order to stay in the winner's side of the bracket. Oh, okay. I thought there was going to be another character change. That would have been sick, bro. And here we go, the Phalanx again punished with the DP from Feed the Head. Feed the Head definitely on point when it comes to this. Ooh, no way punished right there. Ooh, Gladius on block. And here we go with Feed the Head jumping on that Gladius. Gonna get a pretty nice combo. Gets the bait on the grab. Big combo right there. Oh, nice to H HP. Watch the frame gets grabbed. We're going to drive rush. It is the turn of Marisa, definitely. Gradius. Oh, again. Here we go to Fuzzy. No, nice. Nice take right there from Teruana. One more hit should be enough for Fidel to take it. Okay, Fidel got his. Uh, oh, stamina bar back, and Teruban, unfortunately, with the badly timed entire red there, got jumped on completely. With the lows, Teruban are forced to, ooh, no, big DXDP into nothing, and look at your health bar, just vanish under the sun, nice confirms from Teruban, Teruban fishing for a, an extended limb, gonna get the kill, yep. This is it. Good stuff. With a perfect KO, by the way. Hiruvana san on match. On sit point, actually. Oh no! Oh no, full punish! This is gonna do so much damage! And not enough to kill. One more hit. One more hit, I wager, is going to be enough to kill. Ah, oh, too far. Careful there. Yeah, Hiruvana definitely wanting that opener into. Oh no! Yeah, boom! Where are you going, Jury? This is definitely one hit kill right now. Anything will do. Anything into the level three is gonna do. Here we go with the grab from Feed the Head. Okay. Ah. Oh Lord, too far! Oh, that was so. Oh, that was. He was so lucky. I don't know. Okay, cannot. Yeah. Oh Lord! No! And this is death. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> Good stuff from Teruvana, making his way to read uh, every single um, directive I sent to you in your player chat. It's really, everything's written there. Everything you should abide to is written there. If you read it, there's not going to be any problem. So please make sure to read it. I'm really sorry to be a little bit, uh, how do you say it? Very annoying, actually, I am. I'm very, I am very annoying and I apologize for it. But it's just that if you don't do it, it's like, it's gonna make my life really, really more complicated. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. But thank you very much for understanding. 
Anyways, uh, on to the next battle, and here you go. You can see Kizaru versus Uncle Ken. Uncle Ken rocking a diamond uh, JP, by the way. Let's see how this pans out. Uh, Kizaru actually coming from Okinawa, if I'm correct. Uh, rocking the Okinawa ST6, Street Fighter 6 uh, group, so I do believe that he's from Okinawa. In which case, he is a very lucky man, or a lucky person. And you're look as, oh my lord, I would love to live over there. And that being said, we are... Damn, is that again Final Fantasy VII? <laughs> Damn, I... There's only been Final Fantasy VII uh, songs up until I can, it feels. Anyways, uh, that being said, here we go with uh, the throw from Uncle Ken. Uncle Ken actually rocking extremely good. Almost got the grab, but uh, Kizaru was aware of it and uh, struggling to get in. Oh, almost got it. Big DI right there from Uncle Ken. Wow, getting the juggle. Good stuff from Uncle Ken. Actually, putting one run on the board as well. Ooh, that, we have a little bit of lag, probably. Oh, okay, very nice whiff punish right there. And here we go with the jump in. A big, uh, I was going to say YRC, but it's not the case. How do you call this? The reflect? The, I don't know how you call it. The, the drive reversal, I guess. Yeah, it would make sense that it's called like this. And that being said, here we go with the command grab, but no, no one's home. We drive impact. Nice use of the pokes to keep uh, Uncle Ken at bay. Uncle Ken resorting to zoning this time around. And here we go. With oh, wow. The grabber got grabbed. Ah, no entire right there. This is gonna go and kick and, uh, and uh, bite Uncle Ken in the butt right there. That was unfortunate for him. Uh, Shukizaru right there with the first match one. Let's see how this pans out. And on to the next battle. Broken with the drive, the immediate drive rush, but Kizaru was aware of it. Just resorted to neutral jump and punishes it. Opponents on the way down. Big X command grab right there from Kizaru. Uses the X grave to put in some more damage. Big jump in. Not enough to kill, obviously. In with the grave. Oof. Wow, and the timing of Kizaru. Noticing that the Eye of Sauron was gonna pop like very very soon, waited for it to pop, then resorted to using the command grab uh, during the stagger pressure in order to uh, surprise Uncle Ken. Here we go with the Eye of Sauron, Grave, and Ghosts. So many stuff to pay attention to, man. Again, here we go with Kizaru, content to just make his opponent hold, uh, well, hold the, the parry while waiting for the Eye of Sauron to pop. Big Eye of Sauron juggle right there. Oh, Uncle Ken again with the DI. Of course, uh, well, of course, Kizaru Sun wasn't quite ready to uh, counter DI on it. Oh, Lord, it's right into the level 2, and you're gonna. Woo! Nope, no level 2 for you, sir. Nice uh, decision making right there from Ken. And there we go with the grave yet again. Ah, uh, Kizaru taking the second match as well. Let's see how this pans out. One more match. Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord, and big driver right there from Kizaru. Again with the grave. Eye of Sauron is out. A little bit too late to try to use the driver to close the gap. And uh, ended up running straight into the ghost and it's back to no lord the neutral a little bit too far to get that wall splat though here we go with the two the two m uh with the two mk harassment from from he's out of big jumping off from uncle ken but too late to know but it's still fine he's got the uh, di crumble should be able to kill it with the juggle very nicely done and on to the next round is broken finally going to be able to take one we shall see nice entire a little bit late so in the sense that it traded but still better than nothing oh lord broken misjudging the distance it took for him to try to get a oh jump in 
Oh lord! And finally, speaking of jump ins, ooh. Here we go with Kizaru. I have Saron is out. Oof. That check almost got him. Oh, here we go with the two. Again, Street. Again, Final Fantasy VII. What the hell is going on? And this time around, it's actually from Crisis Core. <laughs> Man, so many. Uh, I absolutely love Final Fantasy uh, BGM, by the way. So it's it's not bothering me. It's just the coincidence. It's pretty funny. And uh, yeah, Broken, uh, just like this, took the first round. Oh, to finally took one match. He does need two other matches in order to stay alive in the tournament. Go with the overhead ghost. Ah, uh, no, too far to get the jump in. Almost got the eye, though. Ah, here we go with the... Ooh, the overhead. Very nicely done. You even got the juggle afterwards. That was sick. I didn't even know you could do this. Oh, tried to go for the command grab, but Kizaru doesn't want to let him do so. Harasses him with the 2MK. And the drive rush into the 2MK for the kill. Yeah, Broken finally waking up a bit. Let's see if he uh, manages to take the second... Woo! Oh lord, and the double grave! Ah, uh, very nicely time grab right there from uh, Broken. Gets the grave, gets the Eye of Sauron, and uses it for teleportation. Oh no, that was a badly timed the Eye! Gets a grab. This time around, it's uh, Kizaru's time to bring in the heat. Jumps over the grave. Oh lord, that was a badly timed Eye of Sauron. No, oh, very cheeky grab to punish the parry attempt, I do believe. Not even though there wasn't any punish, so probably uh, he thought it was just taken by surprise. And Uncle Ken working on that comeback, man. There you go, two to two. We have a draw, ladies and gentlemen. Is Broken going to be able to seal the deal? We shall see. And on to the next battle. Oh, the big DI! Finally manages to land it. Gonna get uh, the juggle using the Sharon eyes. And here we go, Sharon eye just looking over ah, his opponent. He's out of sound forced to pop the uh, drive reverse. So, oh! fortunately for him, he gets the um, the cross under and gonna get DI'd once again. Uncle Ken again with the iron. Wow, the side switch using the eyes of Sauron. That was sick. Very nicely done. Again with the Eye of Sauron, man. Wow, Uncle Ken with the zoning, the Immaculate Zoning. And just like this, Uncle Ken on the verge of sending Kizaru out of the tournament. That would be pretty funny. Well, that wouldn't be funny, that would be pretty sick, actually. Knowing that uh, Kizaru was leading 2-0 and Uncle Ken currently working on a, on a reverse 3-0, uh, that would be sick. Oh lord, just jump in, jumped right on the ghost that was unfortunate for him. And finally, we have another BGM. <laughs> is that Cell's team? Oh, it is, it is, it is. Yeah, my bad. Oh no, too far to get the uh, the command grab. And Uncle Ken taking this opportunity to uh, get the level 3 very nicely done. Here we go with the IR sound. Where am I? I'm right here. Uncle Ken looking so good right now and just work. Oh no, this is looking very bad. Yeah, Kizaru needs. Oh no, Diva, this is death. Oh, that was sick. Uncle Ken with the re. Really at zero. Yeah, perfect. All good. So Keta versus Vay. Let's see how this turns out. On to the next battle and immediate teleportation fighters. <laughs> and the perfect parry from Keta. That was pretty sick, bro. Gonna get the corner carry combo. Drops a bomb, gonna get the... Gonna get the, uh, the the grab in order to... Ooh, to juggle. Ooh, a little bit late on that uh, aerial grab that Izuna dropped. Ah, very nice confirm on the 2MK. Not enough to kill, though. And unfortunately for him, cornered himself. This is looking pretty bad. Very good. Entire from way and the wake up DP. Oh, not DP, the wake up reversal from Keita for the kill. Very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. <laughs> Ooh, the feints, though. 
Oh lord. Yeah, Kita definitely looking out for them. Uh, woo! That was unfortunate. Is Vape with the Drive Rush getting Drive Rush himself by Keita. Nice use of uh, the wow! How many ticks can you tick in in one game? That was sick. Nice confirm right there from Keita. Gonna get bombed this time around. Keita not dropping. He's gonna drop. Should be able to get E level three straight in it for guaranteed kill. Bye bye. Nicely done by Keita, takes the first match pretty convincingly. That being said, this is just the first match. It is far from over. Let's see how this spins out. And on to the second battle. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get my glass of water. I'll be right back, guys. Big perfect kill from Kita right there. That was very, very nice, you know? Zoe definitely in dire straits right now. Seems a little bit lost, not gonna lie. Oh, oh, oh nice grab from uh, Zoe. Ah, oh, feels too entire right there. Kita with the grab, gets a side switch. Ooh, gets hit out of his teleportation. But manages to, ooh, get a hit in on his Oki. Zvei out of harm's way thanks to a wake up DP. And we're back in neutral. Keita trying to make his way in. Gets in, uh, gets the air to air by Zvei, and we're back in the neutral. We go with the drive rush. Keita finds the opening, goes straight into the level three. Shouldn't be enough to kill, or, sh or is it? Nah. No. Nice. Uh, ooh, that was really close. Oh, in and out indeed with the TP into the empty low for the kill. Keita takes the second match pretty convincingly. That being said, Zve is no slouch. Definitely do not count him out. It is not over till it's over. Okay, here we go with uh, the cross up. Keita getting that sweet, sweet corner positioning. Ooh. Nice trade in favor of Zve, unfortunately misses his midi. Keita gets the momentum back, gets the corner carry, goes for the drive rush to keep the pressure on. Oh, and the perfect pair for Zve, should be able to get a side switch. Into the shore you can, here we go with the drive rush, gets the grab for the punish. No entire, no! Not enough to kill though, and here we go with the drab pressure on wake up, followed by the bomb for the kill. This is set point. Is they gonna be able to bring it back or is Keta gonna seal the deal? Ah, Keta definitely feeling himself right now. Ah, against the opening yet again. Here we go with the bomb. Here we go, these not drop. Should be able to get level three. Oh, it goes for the reset. No. Oh, I thought he dropped it. That was sick. That was sick. Here we go, broken versus feet the head. The match of destiny right here. There you go, broken. And let me update real quick the uh, the predictions. Hit up. Here we go. I was I was saying so many dumb stuff that I forgot to to do any preparation for this for this match. Anyways, that being said, uh, feed the head currently with the life lead against the entire for the kill. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. On to the next battle. Feed the head getting that 2MK. He's probably gonna get that corner positioning. Uh, Uncle Ken just holding on to that. Holding on to that parry. Ooh. And, wow, nice whiff punish right there from Uncle Ken. 
Ah, the head finds the jump in. Should be able to get the level two. And it's... No more left for you. Oh, and he got the juggle off of the grab too. That was sick. I didn't even know you could do this. And Feed the Head takes the first round, the first match. Let's see if Broken can actually manage to bring it back. We shall see. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uncle Ken. Does Uncle Ken have some problems? Let's see. Uncle Ken. Oh, Uncle Ken switching to E Honda. Okay. Okay, okay. Uncle Ken not happy. Uh, not willing to. Not happy to. Uh, what do you say? Not willing to. Uh, to. To play the mirror, but instead switches to Honda to perhaps see if there's a change. And we shall see how this turns out. Here we go with the Eye of Saruman. Oh, he dead with the grab after the teleportation. Here we go with Uncle Ken. Wow, just going straight into the o o o Orochi. Oro Orochi. Orochi. That's the Orochi, right? The SPD. Not the SPD, the um, command grab. I think it's called the Orochi. Just gonna double check real quick. It's about time I should remember the name of the attacks of, of this game. I still, did. I still don't. I'm a very, very lazy TO. And it's the Oicho, Oicho throw. My bad, my bad. It's not Orochi. I don't know why I said Orochi, but Oicho, Oicho throw, yeah. Anyways, here we go with uh, back to the neutral and feed the head reading that Doskoi from a thousand miles away and gets the punish for the kill. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go. Ah, uh, started around. Oh. Uncle Ken with the Doskoi tried to go for the DI. And back to the neutral. Wow, just parry on the Doskoi from Feed the Head, getting a pretty nice combo. And here we go with the Eye of Sauron, the punish. Ah, uh, couldn't quite get the juggle at the end. He would have definitely went for the level 3 though. Here we go with the Grave. Drive again, big Doskoi in between the graves for the punish. With the Doskoi, oh, too late to get that punish using the buttfall. Whew. XDP from Uncle Ken on the verge of oh, being exhausted. This is looking pretty bad. And feed the head using the level two, and this should be dead. Yeah, it is. Good stuff from feed the head takes the second match as well. What is uh? What is Broken gonna do? Probably change characters again? No, just sticking with Honda, actually. Oh, the big DI, though, from Uncle Ken. This is gonna do a lot of damage, yeah. Here we go. Boom! Well, if he did hit pressing buttons on Wake Up right there, but Uncle Ken couldn't quite confirm it in time. Wow. And here we go, if he did hit the Doskoi. Ooh, no, too far for anything. This is not looking good. Oh, but man, if he did also in burned out mode, but feed the head finding the opening. Ooh, goes for the grab and right after it teleportation through the eye of Sauron. I feed the head. Ooh, getting hit by a big Doskoi right there. You go with the Doskoi. Wow, feed the head with the DI and this should be able to kill. Yes, it does. We are on set point, ladies and gentlemen. Is Broken gonna be able to bring it back? We shall see. Nice to him carry that. Ooh! Here we go to jump in. Feed the head going straight for the grab. Oof! <gasps> and feed the head, adding the command grab in the mix. And back to the neutral. Yeah. You can see Uncle Ken trying to bait these uh, parry attempts by whiffing standing HP, but that didn't really, really, uh, that didn't really, really phase Feed the Head, who is currently on an enormous life lead and goes straight for the grab for the kill. And just like this, Feed the Head is Kata. Let's see how this pans out. Round one and day. Gallagher in the corner, but manages to make his way out of it. 
Goes for a meaty Brit in a butter. And here we go with the tick throw. Again with the drive rush. Man. <laughs> Blaze Jesus wasn't really joking when he said that Gallagher wanted to GG rush. <laughs> Anyways, that being said, Keita back with the corner positioning, but gets grabbed himself into death. Gallagher takes the first round. Let's see if... Ooh, the big... Is that standing HK? I think it is. Probably is. Yeah, I think... Oh, maybe 6 HK. I'm not quite sure. Anyways, here we go back to the neutral. And Gallagher checking every single teleport from Keita. Gets a perfect... Harry for the grab. Wow, big tick pressure right there from Kita. Wants to get that opening. And here we go with, ooh, nice combo. Going for the jab pressure. Goes for the overhead. Manages to get the grab. I wanted to, yeah, get that uh, tick attempt. Ooh, and gets the kill with the Tatsumaki, man. Very nicely done. Shin Senpukyak. Yeah, Shin Senpukyak. Oh, get on to the corner positioning. Keita, ooh, get, ooh! That was a sick punish! And Gallagher using a lot of bar right there, trying to, uh... Get, oh, no, too late! Yeah, that was definitely too late. <gasps> that is so unfortunate for Gallagher. Miss times his level 3 attempt, but does get a grab in the process. Ah, uh, yeah. Here we go with Kita. Ooh, manages to get that overhead. Yo, how are you doing, Shadow J? It's been a long, long time. Oh, no! That was unfortunate from Kita. Gonna get a huge punish off of this. Is that gonna be enough? I think it is. You dead! Punk J YouTuber, how you doing, man? Much appreciated. Welcome back. And Gallagher actually manages to steal that first match out from the skin of his teeth. That was pretty crazy. Very nicely done. I'm doing pretty good. Entertaining people with some uh, Street Fighter 6 action right there. So yeah, definitely doing pretty nice. And here we go with the corner pressure. Get eager to just jump out of it. Gets the grab and the side switch. Oh, nice use of the parry right there not to get hit by the overhead. And here we go with the 2M kick. Um, confirm. Uh, you can see Gallagher trying to fish for that grab, man. Gets the grab. Gets the corner position again. And gets the kill with the sand slash. On to the next ground. No, the next ground. The next geeky round. The next GG round. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyway. Oh, Lord. Wake up, DP, man. Gallagher doesn't give an F. Again with the grab, man. Harassing his opponent with the grab. Oh, Lord. Yeah, Gallagher definitely noticing that his opponent is taking way too often. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Wow. Gets the drive rush punish. I noticed I'm not in your Discord due to months of inactive. Oh, really? Is that the case? I don't think I have a... I don't think I have, like, a, a, a ban. Like, I, I I hope I don't. Uh, wait one second. Here we go with the second match. Uh, I don't I don't think I have, like, um, a, a ban, like, rule in my Discord that says that if you don't participate for a given amount of time, you are banned or anything. I hope I don't, actually. But... I don't think I do, though. But if that's the case, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you're welcome to, to join back anytime you want. No worries. Uh, but I didn't ban you or anything, just so you know. Okay, I, I don't I do not do this. But that's strange. Uh, anyways. That being said... Oh, Lord. Here we go. And Gallagher with the... Oh, with the overhead for the kill. Gallagher on set point, by the way. That went relatively quick. Kita, ooh, not checking these jump-ins, unfortunately. Ooh, almost got the whiff punish on the slide. That being said, we are back in neutral. Yeah, Kita not committing to that drive rush right there for fear of getting punished by Gallagher. Gallagher with the wake-up 
XDP again. Goes for the sand slash, gets the jump in. This is huge. Wow, Gallagher with the level one. Gets the OK and gets the confirm, and they should be enough to kill. Gallad with the clean 3 0. Oh. Updates, not update, but um, I'll put some music because my playlist is uh, currently running on fumes. So I am going to update it real quick. Just one second, please. I forgot to do this. Hopefully, there's not going to be any problem. Here we go. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, here we go. All good. Some Karen action now. One second breather. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, all good. Cannon fight. Exactly. Okay, here we go with Marisa versus Nicola Vida. Who is going to take it? We shall see. Yeah, Aki, man. I had the chance to play her in the... At, uh, what's it called? The T TGS Tokyo Game Show. I went to the Tokyo Game Show on press date. So I was able to play, uh, to play Aki. And she's really, really fun. Extremely fun character. I really like the way that she plays as well. It's very... Very intuitive, very... It, it makes sense, yeah. I'm not a Kami main for SFC. Oh, you're not? That's unfortunate. Kami's pretty fun in this game. I love her character model. She's so freaking pretty. I really like how she looks in this game. I prefer how she looks in this game than in the... The Street Fighter 5 version. But anyways, that being said... Here we go with Teruvana bringing the heat and the corner carry. Very nice tech from Nikojiro. Back to the neutral. Ah, uh, Nikoji trying to go for that sweep, but Teruvana probably noticing it. Simply resorted to neutral jumping and punishing him on the way down. Oh no, drops a combo. Could have gotten the kill though, but it's fine. Teruvana is sitting comfortably with a pretty hefty life lead. Gets the first round. On to the next battle, perfect parry from Nikolaidu finally gets the level two of his uh, SPD of his command grab. And here we go, the drive rush, tick pressure into back to some more neutral. Everyone harassing with the standing MK. Oh, goes for the DI. Nikolaidu aware of it. Oh, gets the perfect parry straight into the level three command grab. And speaking of three, here comes the number four. If Nikoziru wins, this uh, round is going to be extremely hard for uh, Teruvana in uh, the next round because Nikoziru will be sitting on level with five medals for uh, for his um, command grab. So every single command grab is going to take like 35% of the life, just like... Oh, uh, this one was the, uh, the combo command grab, so it doesn't really... Doesn't really count. And here we go, Lord. It does do a little bit of damage. Ooh, okay, no command grab. Follow up. Ooh, because you're trying to read a, a command grab of his own, and this should do level three straight into goodbye. First matches for me. Good stuff by Nikojiro. Kaboom, get out of here. Very nicely done. Nice, I'm glad you enjoy yourself. I'm trying and trying out Aki. I can wait to play with her. I haven't touched online yet outside of playing room match. Yeah, well, you should try online. This game is really comfortable online. Uh, the only uh, thing is that... Uh, yeah, Kenzan, this man was very good. It's Nekojiru. He's a very, very strong player in Guilty Gear Strive. Who happens to also play a little bit of Street Fighter 6. So yeah, he's, he's very, very strong. And, uh, what do I want to say? Yeah, uh, Pungjae, um... What do I want to say? <laughs> yeah, no, the, uh, Street Fighter 6 is really comfy to play. It's, it's a, it's almost a therapeutical type of game. Uh, especially if you, like, come from a enemy fighters, which tends to be extremely, you know, nervous and extremely, um, high-paced, and you don't really have a lot of time to, to understand what's happening. Like, this, Street Fighter 6 is really good for this. It actually gives you this, um... It gives you time to at least, you know, settle down a bit and enjoy and relax, in my opinion. But that's only if you come from a very, very... Like, I, I, I feel like Street Fighter 6, most people tend to not think like this. Like, they used to think they... I, I think they 
they're more prone to thinking that like Street Fighter 6 is very very like you cannot relax because you have so, mi so much shit to worry about like drive rush, drive impact, parries and shit and I feel like most people are, don't agree with me but I really think like Street Fighter 6 on to the next battle this time around it's gonna be Feed the Head versus Galada it's good to see you too, Punk J, bro. And uh, yeah, Ed is gonna be next DLT, yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm still wondering whether or not I want to buy uh, Aki. She's really really fun though, so I kind of feel like I kind of want to buy her. But then again, I don't think I'm gonna play Street Fighter Six that much. I like hosting it. I like playing it sometimes, occasionally with friends. But by myself, like I, I don't feel like I want to grind it as much as like Delta Gear Strive or something else. But it's a very fun game though, it's a super fun game. It's like miles better than Street Fighter 5. It's not even comparable, like... Street Fighter 6 is actually fun to play, so yeah. Anyways, here we go with Gallagher getting that double jump in, man. That did a ton of damage. And on to the next round. I got her for free along with... Uh, oh, because you bought the... You bought the... the what's called? The Season Pass, right? And uh, here we go with the jump in, feed the head not... Not giving any leeway to uh, feed the head, go straight into level 3. Yeah, that's what I thought. So technically, it's not free. <laughs> it's included in the package that you pre-ordered. <laughs> it's not really free. <laughs> yeah, I just bought the standard edition. Because I knew that I wouldn't like buy that many uh, DLC characters anyway, so... Oh, that being said, look at that. Gallagher about to seal the deal and gets a kill. No, couldn't get the last one, but still got the... A punish on the tech attempt and just like this Gallows are taking the first run the first match very very convincingly but yeah uh that being said we are uh, moving on to the second match perhaps maybe if the head wants to change to jewelry no he doesn't jp it is jp it will be and feed the head back to the zoning game Get some pretty nice uh, zone. Oh, almost got the punish on that tech attempt. But Gallagher, ooh, gets hit by the grave again by another grave, and it is zoning time. Ooh, nice jump in from Gallagher. Gonna get the corner positioning. Goes for the overhead. Ah, but he dead with the amnesia. Is able to switch sides. Oh lord. Oh lord, he dead getting hit. Ooh. Gallagher not afraid to pop that DI. Ooh, this is looking pretty bad. Ooh! And Fidel was waiting for that. Fidel waiting for that. That was sick. Ah, and the 2 HP for the kill. Fidel using the Amnesia in order to um, to not get hit by the drive impact. A very nice perfect carry from Gallagher right at the start of the, of the round been watching her matches online and I can I came to find out I don't need to do her level 3. Ah, Jury. Uh, her level 3? Well, it depends. Uh, it depends. If the level 3 gets you the kill, then you should absolutely do the level 3. And it's absolutely necessary for you to do so. Yeah, the Amnesia was crazy, man. It was so crazy. I think some Marisa players also tend to use the same tactic. Uh, the, you know, the parry. Not the parry, but the the defense move move that uh, they have. I forgot how the hell you call it, by the way. Uh, it's called the the scutum. Sometimes, yeah, Marisa players use the scutum in order to uh, to not get hit by the um, forgot the name the uh, the di. That being said, Fidel in pretty good. Oh lord, and gets a level 1 off of jab combo right there. Very nicely done. Feed the head not out of this yet. Puts one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gents. Who is going to take the second match? We shall see it very, very, very soon. Ah, one second. What the hell? Now observe. Yes, I guess. Uh, I have something I needed to check real quick. <clears throat> and 
and the big kill from Gallagher, man. Running a train on a feed the head. <laughs> I've been listening to Aki theme song and I love it. I haven't heard it yet. Well, not that I remember. I did play her at TGS, but I, well, uh, we didn't have like the volume wasn't high enough for her to hear her, her, uh, her theme. So yeah, I need to add it to my. Uh, I'm gonna have to search for it and add it to my BGM, uh, my playlist. Up we go! Welcome to Memphis! <laughs> and Memphis it is! Gallagher taking that second match pretty convincingly, not going to lie. Good stuff from Gallagher. Is he dead? Gonna switch to Jury? Is he? No, he's not. No, he's not. If you want, I can link it for you. Ah, don't worry, I'll, I'll check it out. I'll search for it on YouTube. I need the uh, the YouTube music uh, version so that I can add it to my playlist and uh, occasionally listen to it uh, uh, when when I'm not sure. Well, anyway, I'll search for it. Don't worry, it's all fine. But thanks, thanks, uh, anyways. Oh Lord, but Gallagher, man, holy freaking Lord Gallagher! Damn, extremely aggressive now. What is happening, man? Oh, the eye of sound for the entire though. Ooh, Lord X Sandblast. Very nice confirm from Fidet. Gonna get some real estate back. Oh Lord! Get the grab. Very nice use of the TP right there. Too slow and deep. Nice entire from Fidet. Wow, Gallagher not afraid to just drive rush right through the ghost, even though it was a faint. Well, knowing that it was a faint. And here we go with the Dizzy, man. Oh, Gallagher looking pretty good. Gonna have a low Oh, went for the reset. Okay. And here we go with... Oh, no! Feed the head, pressing some button. And this is death. Yeah, this is death. Good stuff from Gallagher. Eliminating Feed the Head from the tournament with the level 3. With the Memphis. The Memphis. Very reach deep. Loser's final, and it's gonna be none other than Teruvana versus Gallagher, who is going to get the privilege of facing Nikosiru in the loser's bracket. We shall see. I've been making my SF6 avatar, and I am enjoying it. I am liking the way she is coming out. Still not done yet. <laughs> my my Street Fighter 6 avatar looks like an ab abomination. I should show it to you later. But it's actually pretty crazy. Anyways, that being said, look at that, man. Teruvana already almost on the verge of getting that first round. That being said, they are currently uh, in burnout mode. Yeah, swinging that standing K for the kill. That MK for the kill. And on to the next battle. First round went to Teruvana. Back to the neutral. Very nice DP right there from Gallagher. Gets the grab. Punish grab. Gets another punish counter. Wow, and just like this, man, it. No! Gallagher getting that dizzy. Is that gonna kill? No, it's not. It's not. Oh, yes, it. No, it's not! But still, Gallagher again with the tech bait, man. It's been working so good for him, man. Okay, Gallagher getting that second round. Definitely not out of this yet. Oh, Lord. Gallagher with his own drive rush. Yeah, Teruvana trying to work on them with punishes right there to get something starting. Oh, very nice entire. Wow, go straight for the command grab for hefty damage right there. Now you know history. Okay. Oh, no, no entire. Well, a little bit hard to entire out at that particular angle. Oh, we're going to Phalanx. Would that go over? Oh, sick. Oh, no! And Teruvana with the oddly spaced 2HS, unfortunately. Ooh, Lord! Ah, and again with the tech bait from Gallagher manages to take the first match of, um, of the set. And on to the next battle. Teruvana trying to work on them with punishes right there. Goes for the Phalanx. Gets the grab. 
And the corner positioning. Wow. Beautiful Drisberry. Ooh, gets the shimmy, but it fails to get the follow-up, unfortunately. That would have been so good for him. And yeah, Galadar going a little bit hammered there, not going to lie. Gonna get pretty heavily punished by Teruvana. Gets the whiff punish straight into the command grab for the kill. Very nicely done by Teruvana. And on to the next battle. Galadar content with the Send Blast. Ooh, big phalanx to go over the Send Blast though. Galadar waking up with the jabs, gets the combo, and also some leeway to get out of the corner. Fortunately, gets grabbed. There you go with the tick pressure yet again. Oh, Lord. Wow, big whiff punish right there from Teruvana. Uh, from uh, Galadar. Galadar with the overhead should be able to seal the deal, and does indeed. And here we go with the jump in. Oh, big level three right there from Galadar goes. Two man fist. <laughs> nice stick by Teruvana. Ooh, trade in favor of Teruvana. Tried to go for the command grab, but Galadar with the bag dash at the correct read. Goes completely ham with the grabs, with the with the jumps. Careful there. Oh lord, that was a big knee to the face. And look at the damage straight into the level three. This is gonna do a ton of damage. Hello, kaboom! Get out of here. Not enough to kill, obviously. Now you know his study. Uh oh! Galad with the perfect fairy, not enough to kill, obviously because of the scaling, and again a perfect fairy. Are you serious? Are you serious? Wait, wait, wait! Straight into the level one for the kill, and Galader, man, the double back to back perfect fairy, man. Good freaking lord, that was pretty sick. Yo, Flan, how you doing, yo? Welcome to the stream. But yeah, man, Galar with that 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 perfect parry sequence was really sick from him. Very nicely done. That being said, Teruvana not out of this yet. Goes for the command grab. Akimi, merci pour le sub. Ça fait super plaisir. Kensan, follow me. Tada, kia Tony contest, And here we go. Oh Lord, the level one. Ça va très très bien, Akimi. Comme toujours. Et toi, alors comment vas-tu? Too strong. <laughs> Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. And here we go with the Juggo. Perfect. Oh, that's a reason. Okay. Sorry, sorry. On n'a pas vu l'alerte. Attends, je vais te l'armer. On n'a pas vu l'alerte. We didn't see the alert, so I'm gonna put it again. Sorry. Here we go. Well, thank you, Akimi, for the sub. Much appreciated. Merci beaucoup. T'as mieux que mon frère, en tout cas. Qu'est-ce qui s'est encore passé? Il se passe toujours des problèmes dans ta famille, toi. C'est un truc de And here we go with the jump in. Oh lord, big. Tu avais pas vu euh, ce que j'avais mis l'autre jour dans le canal de Modo Ah malheureusement, j'ai pas, je pense pas avoir vu. J'ai pas regardé Discord depuis très longtemps. <rire> Et attends, voyons voir. Le canal des Modo, t'as mis quelque chose là-bas Ok, here we go with... Uh, just one second. Eh? Wait, everyone, I find the putting one on the board. Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé dans le canal des Modo Let me see. Ah non, j'ai pas vu. Faudrait que je regarde ça un petit peu plus tard, par contre. Il y a un pavé, ouais. <rire> ça marche, ça va. Alors, here we go on to the next battle. And yeah, Teruvana staying alive gets a hefty... Uh, how do you say it? I forgot the name. Not Phalanx. Uh, Gladius, yeah. Hefty Gladius in. Teruvana again with the command grab. Gets one in. Just needs one more hit, probably. 
Il s'est passé beaucoup de choses, ouais. La vache, il faudra que je regarde. Hein. Je lirai la peau. T'inquiète, t'inquiète. T'es un peu occupé ce temps-ci, je vois. Sorry. Anyway, with the Phalanx. Adequately punished by Gallagher. Oh, Lord and... What? You can grab this? I didn't know you could grab this. Are you serious? I didn't even know where you could grab this. So only the level 3 is, uh... Only the level 3 is, uh... Is safe? That being said, Gallagher is on set point. Let's see how this pans out. I need to see the property of the super. Cause yeah, I didn't even know you could grab it. Okay, here we go, the corner positioning. Oh, Teruvana with the big combos. This shit. No, and the drop. W or was that intentional? Either way, it definitely worked in, in their favor. Get on to the final round of this match. Still set point. Teruvana saving the point still. Ah, big fouling. Spanish. There it is. Straight into the little three. Let's go down to Memphis. Wow, big drive rush right there from Gallagher. Goes for the grab. Gonna go for another... Yeah, drive rush, of course. <laughs> Gallagher should rename his name... Uh, should, re should rename himself Dralader, I feel. V-R Alliter. Like Dragon Rush Alliter. <laughs> yeah, my name is Dralader. Yeah, but it doesn't sound as good as Gallagher at all. And just like this, Gallagher takes it and final, it's gonna be none other than Neko Zero versus Galader. Let's see how this pans out. Neko Zero, a winner of a uh, multi gamed uh, Brojo Cup. So let's see if he's able to add one more Brojo Cup to his winning Palmares. We shall see. With the overhead, very nice grab from Galader. Galader definitely out for blood. You can feel that he's definitely, definitely pumped. Good, nice confirm off of the 2MK. Gonna get the kill. Who sent Gallagher in the losers? <laughs> Let me check real quick. So yeah, Gallagher was sent in the losers bracket by... By Nikozidu himself. Okay, that's all, yeah. So this is basically a revenge arc for him right now. Oh, big command grab right there from Nikozidu. To go with... Ah, uh, the hit by Nikozidu, finding the opening. Ah, uh, going for the command grab. Ah, uh, lord, and the DI for the kill. Bye-bye, kaboom. Very nicely done. And on to the next battle. Here we go with... Ooh, the command grab, boom. Yeah. All five medals have been collected. Very nice, perfect parry from Gallagher. Ah, uh, gonna get a pretty nice... Ooh! Pretty nice punish. Ah, uh, too far for the DI, though. You hate to see it. Oh, Lord! And... The big, big, big command grab kill. From Nikozu takes the first match pretty convincingly. Let's see how this spins out. Woo! Nikozu with the overhead. Almost got the parry right there. A little bit too far for it though. Haha, <laughs> Nikozu with the sweep. And here we go the corner positioning. Ah, Gallagher is swinging some. Not afraid to swing some. Ah, some buttons. <laughs> Getting the grab. No way there. Ah, Gallagher. Content to just jump. Try to get the command grab. The, the grab. The grab. Yeah. And should be able to get the kill. Very nicely done. And on to the next battle. You're going to perfect pair from Nikozidu. Gonna get that second medal as quickly as possible. Ten blast. Ten blast. Send blast. 
three medals on deck for Nikolidu. Yeah, the command grab are gonna start to make a lot of damage, but Nikolidu content to just go straight into the level three for maximum damage. Not enough to kill though. Ooh, almost was a trade here, but Nikolidu prevailed. On to the next battle, big jump in from Nikozu gets to confirm into the Dragon Rush. Gonna get that corner positioning. A trade in favor of Galadar. Ah, uh, gonna go into the level 3, no. Would rather keep it for later. Ooh! Big perfect parry from Nikozu. Nikozu harassing with this standing jab, knowing that Galadar is trying to get out of it. Ooh, Lord! Ah, Nikozhiro man with the immaculate spacing, taking the second match very convincingly. But it, we are on potentially the last match of today. Will Gallagher find what? Find some sort of way to try to reverse of uh, momentum. As of now, definitely is currently struggling. Very nice for Victory yet again. This is probably the third one that Nikolidu had. Ooh! Uh, and here we go with uh, the Galader combo. Try to bait that grab. Here we go the, the command grab into the overhead for the kill. We are on tournament points. Here we go the Dragon Rush. Send blast, Galader getting that overhead to be able to get. Oh lord! Ooh! Oh, big punish on the sweep! Finally, I uh, tried to get that bait, that tick grab. Oh, and the whip punishes are real from Nikolajita, man. Five medals on deck. I'd wager that yeah, no, one grab would be too much. Oh, almost got the whiff punish. Should be able to get the level 3. And does. Here we go, dance with me. Mm. Boom. Not enough to kill. Ah, yeah. And here we go, the sending MP for the kill.